day. It's been quite the busy week. Sorry for the lack of videos. Um, we've literally been running all day, every day this week. So, this is a Cadillac that belongs to our local Elvis impersonator, Steve Elliott. He's really good. If you ever get a chance to see him, do, because he's amazing. So, it's even got the gold bumper on the back. Wah, wah. So that's his website there. Um, he had a wee bit of a fire under the hood here, as you can see. So it's in for uh, an insurance claim with us. So we're going to be working on that, getting that back on the road for Mr. Elliot. This is why we like summer weather, because we can have all of this stuff out and we don't have to worry about trying to find room for everybody to work because we got lots of room outside. So you guys remember this truck came in a while ago, we did the body and paint, and the owner was going to put the truck back together himself. He has since decided to let us do it, so he brought it back, he's been bringing us parts and pieces. So yesterday Rick and I hung the doors, inner and outer fenders, and he brought the hood today, so we're going to tackle that tomorrow. It's got the newer engine in there, and uh, yeah, so we put this back together. And I believe we're doing the box perhaps next week or the week after. Um, but yeah, what a pretty color combo. Amazing. Uh, this is the 57 that I was telling you guys about on the last video or the second to last video. Uh, we're doing, just doing some fitment issues and stuff and having to rework some body work that was done on it. Um, so nothing too major. Um, don't even ask why this is in here. We're not going to talk about that. Rick's been welding on that all day. He's fit to be tied. Um, this is the 78 Ford box that came in and we did the bodywork and paint on the truck and that was that wicked two-tone green on green and this is the box for that and the guy wanted Rick to uh, put in the old toolbox that was an option back then so that's what we did there and now it's going to be off for paint pretty quick and back to the owner so that he can put it on the truck. Uh, this is the crew cab. Look at this color! This is a factory color. It's uh, light green and the interior color is fawn. And I love, love, love that the owner went with the satin finish on the inside because that was an option back in the day. And so they did um, satin and actually there was two-tone satin and a little bit higher gloss on the dash on some of them. Um, but, uh, <coughs> excuse me. He did the uh, factory light green and fawn color, and I just love, love, love this color combo. Came back from paint today and just did all the jams and stuff, and then uh, it'll get uh, final paint probably in a two or three weeks after the engine and tranny are in it. And all, all that good stuff. So this came back and looks fabulous. Chris is working on uh, the engine for the Nova and we sprayed the inside of the firewall and the inner fenders for the customer. The firewall used to be black uh, and he wanted it painted and spruced up a little bit and uh, it's supposed to be body color so we changed it to body color and uh, I think we're going to surprise him with it. But uh, yeah, Chris is getting everything ready on the engine to put this in. Because uh, it was a straight six, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. And so now it is. Is this a 350? 350. Okay. Mild cam. Cool. Yeah, so the customer should be happy about that. And what else have we got around here? There's the hood for the um, 69 Chev that we were putting together, the green and white. And here is the 57, or sorry, 56 Chev uh, truck that we were in the process of smoothing out. So there's been some progress on that. Um, had to do some rust repair up in the headliner area, that kind of stuff. So drip rails have been removed and smoothed out. Rick was working that body work last week or the week before. And that's about it. So, and yeah, we're not going to talk about this. We're not going to talk about this, are we? This truck? Yeah. This is all Sean's doing. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, he's this. 
Okay, we're not going to talk about this truck. No, we don't work on new trucks. No, we do not. In case you guys didn't hear that, we don't work on new trucks. Still waiting on the box, uh, the wood for the box for this truck. That's why that's still there. Uh, we are waiting for some body panels for the satellite. Rick still has not found time for carried away, but uh, I'm on him like white on rice, so to get it done. So uh, hopefully there'll be an update on this old girl soon. And what else is going on? That's about it. So I guess I'll sign off. And uh, thanks for watching. It's always a good time at old time. And no, still no, no progress on my Merc. The 36 is uh, on hold right now just because we were waiting for uh, the rubbers on the running boards to dry and stuff. And then I'm going to install those. And then, yeah, get to it when I get to it. But I'll keep you guys uh, posted. And uh, for sure, if I do anything on it, I'll let you know. It's always a good time at old time. Thanks for watching, everybody.